What's up, everybody? We are here for a week nine picks. Um, I just got to say last week I did terrible. <laughs> you know, some some teams I had right and then I switched, like the Steelers. Um, I'm going to put which teams I got wrong in the description. It'll be a long list probably. Hopefully I remember every team that I got wrong, but I think I got like eight or nine right. That's really bad. And that's something that if you go through my picks, it's never been that bad before. So um, anyway, let's continue with this and um so you know week nine is here we're halfway through the season a little bit almost halfway through like a little bit more than half i mean to say it's hard to tell what's half with 17 games but yeah jets versus colts i know mike white has been played really well last week everybody's talking about it he beat the Bengals. that was another game that i got wrong i'm gonna go with the colts they are a 10-point uh, favorite, and I believe they cover that spread uh, pretty easily. I just think that the Colts' defense is going to stop the Jets. I don't know. I think they'll figure out Mike White. Um, but I think the Colts should win. They're at home, too. So, uh, Browns versus the Bengals. I don't really like the Bengals because they lost last week to the Jets, but the Browns lost to the Steelers. And I know that the Bengals losing to the Jets, they were probably just shocked. You know, they probably, they, they were shocked by the Jets. You know, they weren't really taking them seriously. I know they're going to take Cleveland seriously. I like Joe, uh, Jamar Chase, Joe Burrow. They've been playing really well except for that game. Um, I think they bounce back and the Bengals win this game. Bengals are... Favorite by two and a half. This is going to be a very close game. I could see either team winning, but I'm going to go with that. Texans versus Dolphins. Um, Hank Paul. Um, I think they say Tua may be out for this game. I don't know yet. The official report hasn't come out that he's out. Um, but even if he isn't out, I'm taking Miami. They're 5.5 favorite. I know Miami only won one game, so are the Texans. But they're at home, and they're going to win. Texans just... I don't know. Really disappointing. I, I knew that would be one of the worst teams, but damn. They really, I don't know why they haven't signed Cam Newton or anything. I guess they're just trying to tank. Maybe they like a quarterback in this draft, and that's what they're going after. Who knows? Bills or Jacksonville? You know, this is so, so easy. I don't really need to say much. Josh Allen, the offense, the defense is better than Jacksonville. Jacksonville's one of the worst teams in the NFL. Again, it's not Trevor Lawrence's fault. This team is just really bad. Uh, 14 and a half point favorites. That's pretty high. This team is really frustrating. The Broncos. Because I picked against them last week. I'm going to pick against them again this week. Because it's the Cowboys. And Dak Prescott, I believe, is playing. And the, the Cowboys are a much better team. Offensively, defensively. Even though I picked against the Broncos. They barely beat Washington. So, the Washington had chances win that game they were giving washington they were like please take this game and washington couldn't do it raiders versus the giants i'm not picking the giants for like the rest of the year i don't care if they play the lions i may pick the lions that's how bad the giants have been raiders are away and they're still a three-point favorite and i think they'll win do the giants have a chance absolutely could the giants have beaten the chiefs yes but they just choked at the end we're not able to score. The offensive line let down Daniel Jones. Um, you already know how I feel about Daniel Jones and just the Giants. It's not all his fault, but uh, man, I don't know. We need a hold. We need to start all over, rebuild, like Alex Ford said, and a lot of Giants receivers. Anyway, Patriots versus Panthers. I'm gonna go with the Patriots. I am. Really, I really am loving this Patriots team in terms of talent. They're playing really well. Mac Jones, Kendrick Bourne, Damian Harris, I think the running back is. Um, he's been really good. And the Panthers, Darnold hasn't been the same. And I think he may be out. P.J. Walker, I don't know. I don't trust them. I'm going to go with the Patriots on the road. 3.5 favorite. They're just better all around. Offensively, defensively than the Panthers. Panthers lost to the... Giants. Yes, they beat the Falcons, but that's not saying much. Vikings versus the Ravens. 
I'm going to go with the Ravens. They had a bye week. They're going to come out fresh. The Vikings just lost to the Cowboys without Dak Prescott. They made Cooper Rush look like Peyton Manning. Like, he looked so good out there. Um, So, the Ravens are favorite, and I'm going to go with them. They're favorite by six points. <sighs> Ravens are better. Just all around. Offensively, defensively, Lamar. A lot of people can say Lamar is not a good quarterback. I think he is. Um, Obviously, he is. He plays the position. Just because he's mobile doesn't mean he's not a quarterback. That's a stupid argument to make. Um, because then you can say the same thing about Kyler Murray and other quarterbacks that run the ball. And he had a 400-yard passing game this year. So, um, Chargers, Eagles. Hmm. I'm going to go with the Chargers. They're only one and a half point favorites, but... The Eagles are just the Eagles are just terrible. I know they beat the Lions really badly, but it's the Lions. Like, I think the Lions are on a bye this week. So luckily I don't even have to worry about picking against them and getting that wrong. And yeah, I'm going with the Chargers. Justin Herbert is gonna come play well and prove everybody wrong. Packers versus Chiefs. Uh the Packers. The Packers will the Packers against the Chiefs is very interesting. No Aaron Rodgers, you know. There's no Rodgers. But the Chiefs defense is so bad. They did get somebody to fix that, but for in a trade. But I don't know if it's gonna be enough. They got Melvin Ingram. I think Jordan Love is gonna come, be ready to play. He's been sitting behind Aaron Rodgers for a while. Aaron Rodgers got COVID, so he's not gonna be in this game. And let's see, who is the favorite? Kansas City. Favorite by seven and a half. But I don't have any faith in them. They barely beat the Giants. Titans or the Rams. Um, No Derrick Henry. The Rams look like one of the best teams in the NFL. I'm going to go with the Rams. Bears versus Steelers. Easily. And Rams are favorite by 7.5. No Derrick Henry. Hopefully Tannehill can carry the load, but I don't think he'll be able to. I think the offense, the defense of the Titans is not good, and the offense is okay. Without Derrick Henry, it's not the same. Bears and Steelers. I'm going to go with the Steelers. The Bears look god-awful. They look terrible. Falcons and Saints. I'm going to go with the Saints. Their defense will be enough to beat the Falcons alone. You know, Taysom. Hill may start. I don't know who's going to start there, actually. Or Trevor Simeon. I guess we'll see. But I don't think it matters. You know, the Falcons are so bad. They'll probably beat themselves in this game. Cardinals versus the 49ers. Tough game. Cardinals are one-point favorite. I think with Kyler Murray, if he plays, the Cardinals are going to win. Even if he doesn't, I think they should still be able to win. Uh, AJ Green is out due to COVID. But they have so many weapons. The 49ers beat the Bears, but... I could see the 49ers winning this game because it is divisional. But I think Arizona will win in the end. So tell me in the comments below what you think about the picks and everything. Um, the only one I'm kind of worried about is this Chiefs game. I feel like I should pick the Chiefs. But they've just not looked good in my opinion. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes has not looked good this year. And I think the Packers defense is actually decent. And they're at home. So they should they have so many advantages. Anyway, guys, tell me in the comments below what you think about these days. Please hit the like, hit the subscribe. See you around the bend. Have a great night and great day, everybody. Peace. Thank you so much for watching.